guys, welcome back to Mandela's life. I am at the same place I was before my um, my doctor's office. I need to go and pick up some stuff. But first, I'm gonna see if I can walk down there. <laughs> so it's been about two or more weeks since I have been on medication for rheumatoid arthritis. And I'm hoping that it works. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, look how beautiful it is. It's really cold. Well, it's not as cold as I expected it to be this morning, but compared to the past couple of days, it's pretty nice, actually. And I made it down here. Like, I walked from up there, and before, I definitely wouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> So I'm just waiting uh, for my doctor's office to open and I'm still having trouble with my joints, especially um, my hips and my knees. But compared to before, like even being able to walk down here is like crazy good, you know? And um, my wrists are kind of hurting and my hands are hurting. But just to be able to pinpoint those actual areas in my body that are hurting and not have every little joint and every little muscle and every little thing hurt you know is really nice i still have some skin and muscle pain to a point but it's not that bad and the achiness and the extreme pains are mostly gone except for my hip um and my knees like my hip has been both sides actually but one side more than the other has been pretty intense um this video is actually not about that i was just wasting time so I figured I'd try to walk down here and I tried to see what I could do and it's a pretty nice setting so I figured maybe you want to look at that instead of me <laughs> but um, this is about the past year or two years um, this has been one of the hardest things I've ever been through uh, just it's just been real difficult so it all started last year in 2018 where I uh, got pregnant and at 10 weeks I miscarried and I was very depressed and stuff but um, I just tried to get through it the best I could and actually got pregnant soon after the miscarriage and we had trouble with like the whole first pregnancy because we um, we couldn't get that much coverage and my husband's work it cost too much to go through his work when he was working and so we uh, tried to get financial help and stuff, but we weren't getting anything. So my husband was just working a ton, you know, to get overtime and everything. And so we're still actually paying for the miscarriage and for some of those initial, like, last doctor bills and stuff for the miscarriage. And then I got pregnant again, and we paid out of pocket for pretty much everything in the beginning of our pregnancy with Riley. And our son... We went into early labor at, I went into early labor at 24 weeks with him. They managed to stop the labor from happening and I ended up on bed rest for about a month and a week or so. I actually got to go home at 29 weeks for a minute, um, just for about like six, seven hours. And it was wonderful. I ate some food and then I went to bed early and then I woke up to my water breaking basically. And there's some early videos if you want to check any of what I'm saying out there's like tons of videos on like this stuff I just wanted to get it all in one video you know and have it like a whole year's kind of review put together <laughs> so um, it's been crazy and I'm a little overwhelmed and stressed out most days but today's been pretty good so I figured I'd make this video um, and then when I'm gonna go back to the labor at 24 weeks, uh, I went into labor, like I said, and then I was on bed rest for most of it. And then I actually went back into labor around 30 weeks and had Riley at 30 weeks. And after that, he was in the hospital for about a month, maybe a little longer. And he was in the NICU for a while. And like I said, there's some videos on all this stuff. And he needed caffeine, he had to have um, in his isolate, he had to have his oxygen and his heart rate monitored, and just, um, you know, normal baby stuff that needed to take care of because he was a preemie. 
and he has still has checkups and stuff for being a preemie and so they check his eyes his ears his developmental growth and everything like that and um, so we're still dealing with like hospital and doctors visits because of that and then after he got home from the hospital I had postpartum pretty bad and it was just it was hard when he first came home from the hospital because my husband wasn't doing very well and I wasn't sure why and it was just um it was it was a lot of things he was always seeming like he was sick like he had a cold or like something was wrong and I just didn't notice the signs but we found out that he had heart failure I convinced him to go to the doctor and the doctor said your heart is enlarged and he had pneumonia and Rob had um, chest pains and he had uh, a lymphedema or swelling in the legs. I can't remember what it's called right now. But um, he had all kinds of symptoms of it. And I, I just, I, I mean, it was just so much dealing with getting a baby who was still technically a preemie home. And then also my husband being sick, we just, we thought, oh, you just have a cold or pneumonia or something. So he kept putting off going to the doctor and I finally convinced him and I was really glad I did because he ended up in the ICU for a little bit but it was mostly just to monitor the medication because he had a lot of medication he needed and his heart is still partially enlarged and was still worried about um, tightness in his chest and uh, pain that he has and stuff but he's home with the baby and because of all this stuff happening um, over time he ended up losing his job but I'll get to that in a minute like there was more to this year, of course there was. So, also, after the heart failure, um, I got diagnosed with gall gallbladder problems, gallbladder stones and problems with my gallbladder. So I had surgery in August and his heart failure was in April this year. Sorry, I'm just all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, his heart failure was in April and my surgery was August and then a week after my gallbladder surgery I felt a lump in Riley's side and it was um, a tumor and so they said it took over his tumor, the tumor took over his kidney and so they wanted to take his kidney out and um, he had surgery August 30th of this year and it's November like 20th or something it's a week away from Thanksgiving right now I'm doing like a whole year thing because I'm hoping nothing happens after this video like this is this is our year okay this is what I need it to be <laughs> that's it um, I wish it wasn't this but this is what I have to tell you I'm hoping that I don't have anything to add so I'm making this video <laughs> um, so after that they took out his kidney and then they tested it and it was Wilms tumor, which is a cancer that um, grows in children's kidneys. Basically it starts in their kidneys and then it can met metastasize and grow other places. But in him, he was lucky and then we were lucky that it was only stage one. And um, so he had stage one cancer and he was eight months old when they took out his kidney. And we're just trying to get him healed and stuff because he still has an internal IV and uh, so his IV comes out next week uh, right before Thanksgiving and he'll still have checkups and stuff for the cancer and uh, he'll be at one years old um, next month as well so I got a few little gifts and stuff I'll go to that in a minute but uh, I'll, I'll explain that so after that what else has happened? Um, recently I got diagnosed with a rheumatoid arthritis like you saw in the beginning of this video. I couldn't walk, I couldn't do very much. Um, my joints were getting locked up, my jaw was getting locked up, my actual neck and stuff. I was having a lot of problems with my ankles and my knees and my, my hip. Woo, train! break <laughs> it's taking me a minute to walk up this hill anyways like I've walked up this far and it's taken me a while I'm having trouble walking up the hill more than I did going down of course so we all have doctor's appointments we all have um, medication that we're on and um, just been a crazy bad year 
And so I've tried to be as positive as I can, but occasionally I just lose it, you know. And I've been kind of a mess lately, especially last week or the week before. Around my birthday, it was pretty bad. And I felt bad for the people around me around that time. I've done a little bit of this week, so wish me luck for the rest of the week. It's almost over. <laughs> um, so with all that going on and stuff, we had to have a lot of help. And I wanted to say thank you to all the people who have helped us. Strangers, family, friends. You guys have really made it easier on us because we had help and we still need help. So I do have a GoFundMe still up. Um, it's Riley, I picked the weirdest name for it. Riley and his parents Road to Healthy. Uh, I could link it, um, but even if we don't get help, we did get help in so many different ways. Um, doctors, nurses, dietitians I mean just the list goes on the developmental early intervention people were wonderful we haven't gone to them again but he Riley might go back because he was uh, on he was in that program but because of the cancer and all the other stuff he had to be taken off for now but he's doing pretty well so I don't know if we'll put him back on it he was having more problem um, it could be something to do with the cancer or whatever because that was before we knew he had it so this year Christmas is tight and his birthday is definitely tight. Um, I spent a few bucks on like streamers at like Dollar Tree and I'm gonna make some decorations. <laughs> Sorry, like my hands like all in the way. I'm gonna make some decorations and before Rob lost his job, like going back to that, he lost his job because he had to keep taking FMLA and time off and we just couldn't even cover it. I mean by Bradley's cancer, it was just all too much. And then um, so about, a month and a half ago, I got a job and I've been doing study with it. It is very difficult with the arthritis and stuff. Um, my hands have been swelling a lot lately and they've been hurting, but I'm still managing to do it and they haven't said anything bad about it. So hopefully that's good. I like everybody I work with. They're amazing people. And um, I'm just hoping that everything goes well with that. It just the depression, anxiety, and that stuff gets to me sometimes, but other than that, it's been pretty good. And the fact that all of us are healing or trying to heal. And hopefully Rob can get, um, we're trying to see if he can go to school instead of going straight back to work because his heart's still enlarged and because he's had so much problems and because Riley has. One of us should be home with Riley for the most part and then also, um, Rob needs to rest more because it's just not healing properly so we're, we're trying our best to go as we are and so hopefully he can go to the doctors and like figure out what to do next and also hopefully we can get some help into getting him into school and getting us help with the loans and like not loans I'm sorry the bills that we had like the medical bills and we owe people I owe my parents for the trailer and for all the stuff that they've done for us. Uh, they had to loan us a lot of money just to get us by this year. I mean, we had no place to live at the beginning of, of last year, end of last year, sorry. So they got us a trailer and we were supposed to be paying them back and Rob made good money so it would have been fine. But now, you know, we're, we're just trying to get by and hopefully next year will be better. And this is our year this is what it's been <laughs> thank you for watching if you watched thank you again to all the people who've helped us and all the people who will help us i know my family will still help us and other people might donate to the gofundme or whatever you know and i'm i'm we would not have been able to make it through this year i mean like the amount of times that i just think of it and i just want to like cry because <laughs> it's it's like i don't know there's so many trucks going by, sorry. I don't know how we would have made it. Anyways, um, thank you for watching and have a good day.